Reach you in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. And uh, today is Monday, the 16th of January. Now, if you notice, there is a, a circulation that very soon they're going to start teaching LGBTQ in the schools in the UK. Um, there is no need for anybody to panic. We are praying. We will continue to preach. And uh, what you have to know is, if you look at the content of the Bible, this sexual perversion, homosexuality and all those things has always been in the world. It has been rampant in Europe. If you look at the epistles especially, you see that Paul wrote against it. So it's something that has been there over 2,000 years ago. But this time, any building was there even before that Sodom and Gomorrah. But this time, they are coming with a force and they give it in every noun name so that they can hide and die. There is no need for us to find it. If we are teaching the scriptures correctly, and that's all we have to do, we don't have to find it. What we have to know is that there is no worldly system, there is no worldly system that can be the plan of God. You can be sure of that. There is no worldly system. Human beings are not cleverer than God. And even the worst thing human beings can do, God can turn it for good. You let them set up. From the same subject they are teaching, they've taken the Bible out, they will introduce LGBTQ. Out of the same lessons, God will raise a generation that will nullify that, that will destroy that. Look at Egypt. Pharaoh said, Every firstborn of the Jews should be killed. If they feed the Nile, the crocodiles, and everything with it. Out of the same law, God raised this, a Jewish boy. He was also put into the Nile, but not fed to the crocodile. And God put him in the house of Pharaoh and turned his around and used them to deliver. You look at that, the same thing. Uh, laws were made in Babylon to stop Daniel and the friends. Out of the same law, God made rules. Then you look at Esther's time. Whatever the devil does, then whatever the devil does, God is smart and God will use the system of the world and turn it around for his people. So there is no need to panic. All we have to do is let us continue to preach and teach your children preach against LGBTQ. It's an abomination. Let people know. You see, there is something about the Bible, the word of God, is shepherd and two and so. If you teach a child from child to that child, Memorize the scriptures. In the time they are going to school, the Holy Spirit and the scripture will begin to speak to them. And that's where the truth is. Teach that LGBT homosexuality and lesbianity is, is an abomination according to the book of Exodus and Numbers. So once people are aware, when they are going to commit that act, the Holy Spirit will begin to fight their conscience. It's if we don't teach it, then that will be worse continue to teach, deliver the word, God will act smart humans. No matter how the Jewish people did, they hide professional liars, they hide the help of Pilate, they discharge and everything. Jesus died according to God's plan. They even sent soldiers to stop the resurrection. Up to today, the tombs are there to prove to us. In fact, all their plans were effective for us. So I am not that afraid of whatever system they come with. As long as we are preaching, there is hope. Do your best. Preach the truth. Don't hide it. Don't try to gather people by pacifying. There are lots of preachers doing that. They feel auditorium. They are partial on sin. Don't do that. God loves sinners. He has declared war on sin. And everything that has sin will die. I love God speaking truth to you. Don't worry. Do what you have to do. Leave the rest for God. He has a better plan. He's always at, at smart, the worldly system. We are not clever than him. He created it. Look at our puny mind. Can we dictate to God? No. No, no, no. We are on the winning side. I love you. Fear not. Preach the gospel. The Lord bless you. Speaking truth to you from Stratford again, Westfield. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.